Leon Paul manufactures three different types of mask padding for our exchange bib masks. Standard padding, ice padding, and air padding. Mask padding consists of two pieces, the forehead padding and the face padding. All padding comes in one size regardless of the size of the mask, and each piece can be purchased on our website or as an upgrade when you purchase the mask. The standard padding comes with the mask if you choose not to upgrade. It is comfortable, durable padding similar to the padding seen in most other brands of masks. The drawback of standard padding are heat retention, poor air circulation, and hearing impairment caused by ear obstruction. The ice padding is a high performance product that has successfully eliminated all of the drawbacks found in standard mask padding. It is thin, very light, and it allows maximum airflow through the mesh of the mask. Ice padding is preferred by high level fencers and it has proven to be very useful for fencers who wear glasses or have hearing problems as well as fencers who have complexion issues. Mask padding can be easily removed and washed or replaced as needed. We discourage the use of laundry soap as it can be difficult to rinse out. We designed air padding to give you maximum padding with increased airflow. Air padding is shaped similarly to standard padding, but the honeycomb-like 3D spacer fabric helps you stay cooler, breathe better, hear better, but most importantly, perform better. Here is a comparison between our standard forehead padding on the left and our air forehead padding on the right. The forehead padding attaches at three points by Velcro. It can be moved forward to make the mask fit larger or backward to make the mask fit smaller. Masks with permanently fixed padding are harder to clean so they tend to harbor bacteria and develop a pungent odor. In addition to the odor, these bacteria can make you sick. The Leon Paul mask padding selection gives the discerning fencer a choice because too much mask padding impedes airflow through the mesh and negatively affects performance on the strip.